Hello ladies and gentlemen, I will be doing a video on signs of God, identifying the signs of God's power, okay? Now, um, I will be sharing with you the different type of signs that God did in the Bible that pertain to identifying and knowing that that was God working through his power, okay? Now the first one. I'm going to share with you is Jesus identifying his uh, his power through unleavened bread. Okay, with what and what happened is is that what I mean by he identified his power by unleavened bread is that Jesus delivered Egypt. Okay, and what he did was he delivered Egypt. By using a food which was unleavened, unleavened bread, okay? He used that food to identify his power that he was going to free the Egyptians and deliver them, okay? And this scripture is found in Exodus chapter 13, verse 7 through 9. I'm sorry, verse 7 through 9 in the Bible. And you can find this in Exodus, which you know Exodus is in the Old Testament. Now, the second sign that God showed his power through, that he was not going to flood the earth ever, ever again, was a rainbow. Jesus used a rainbow to show his sign that he was not going to ever flood the earth again. Okay, so in the Bible days, this was, this was actually uh, in Genesis, in the book of Genesis, which is also in the Old Testament of the Bible. Chapter 9, verse 13. I'm sorry, chapter 9, verse 13 through 17, okay? And Jesus used the rainbow to, to identify his power that he was not going to ever, ever flood the earth again, okay? And this is another way that he showed, you know, his power and how he spoke to the people that he was... Uh, you know, speaking to about not flooding the earth ever again, okay? And this is 13 through 17, okay? And I'm sorry, it's actually chapter 9, 13 through 17. Chapter 9, 13 through 17. And it says in uh, verse 13, I set my rainbow in the cloud, and it shall be for the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. So Jesus wanted to let the people know that he had a covenant, that, that there was a covenant actually going on between him and the people on the earth, and to let the people know that he would never, ever flood the earth again. He also said in verse 14, it shall be when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the rainbow shall be seen in the cloud. So this is another sign, the rainbow, letting, as I said earlier, letting the people know that he was not definitely going to flood the earth anymore. That was his promise. And that he and that was his covenant with the people on the earth. And he says in verse 15, And I will, rem I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And Jesus said, The water shall never flood again, become a flood to destroy all flesh okay so as i was saying earlier this is a this is a, another sign of jesus identifying his power okay these are ways that his, his power was identified in the old testament the next one is uh, another uh sign of god's power was was in reference to christians uh as a sign of to unbelievers so god had gave a gift, okay, that was given to Christians at, at the time, to God's people at the time, as a sign to unbelievers, okay? And this gift was speaking in tongues, okay? 1 Corinthians chapter 14 through 22. So back in this time, um, when God was, um, you know, wanting the unbelievers to know that he was real, and that his power was real and he existed, he used his people, his children, 
to speak tongues, and the unbelievers automatically knew that God was real. Okay, that God's power was being manifested. And this is in 1 Corinthians chapter 14 through 22. Chapter 14, verse 22, I'm sorry. Now, um, the next one was Jesus um, used the Sabbath day, okay? As a sign to, 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 you know, to show his completion and rest on earth. So on the Sabbath day was a sign of God's power was showing everyone on earth that it was completion and rest, okay? And the Sabbath day was used for that sign from God, which you can find in, the, uh, I'm sorry, Exodus chapter 31, verse 13. Now, Jesus used this next sign, okay? Je I'm sorry, Jesus used this next sign to um, show the unbelievers once again, the unbeliever Jews. Uh, and, 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 and back in the days, um, Jesus used a prophet as a sign to show the unbelieving Jews once again that his power was real, that he was real. And he used a prophet named Jonah, okay, to show the unbelieving Jews. They had Jews that didn't believe. There was unbelievers, and he used a prophet to show his power and, his, and, his, and identify his power to the Jews that didn't unbelieve. And you can find this scripture in, um, I'm sorry, as far as, yeah, you can find the scripture in um, Jonah chapter 16, verse 4, and this is in the New Testament of the Bible, okay? Now, the next sign Jesus used, well, I'm sorry, the next sign was Gideon. Gideon received a wet fleece as a, a sign of God's approval, okay? And Jesus used it as a sign of, of his approval to, um, you know, to get in. And I'm going to go to the scripture so I can read it to you real fast so I can explain to you uh, because this part is just so interesting. When I read it, it's just so interesting. And I want to share this with you guys real fast, if that's okay, because uh, I'm telling you, it's, it's really interesting. I just, it was, it's interesting. But to tell you the truth, um, now the one I'm speaking of right now is Judges chapter 6, verse 36. And it's through uh, 40. So you can actually read 36 through 40 in the Old Testament. Okay. And I mean, I'm going to explain it to you guys real fast because it's just so interesting. Um, like I was saying, Jesus used, uh, you know, he, um, he, he, he allowed Gideon to receive a wet fleece as a sign of, of, of God's approval. Okay. So, and I'm going to explain to you why Gideon received a wet fleece. Okay. As a sign of God's approval, what he was trying to prove, uh, what kind of approval that he was trying to get from God. Okay. Um, and like I said, you know, it's so many signs that God used to manifest his power back in the Old Testament. And even in the New Testament today, if y'all want to believe it or not. So we in the New Testament, matter of fact. We are in the New Testament. We are the New Te you know, in the New Testament. So um, I'm about to share this with you guys real fast, if that's okay. Because uh, it's so interesting. Um, now... Now, this is what I want to tell you guys real fast, is that Gideon, uh, you know, Gideon had something, um, you know, that he was trying to receive as a sign from God because of the fact that Gideon, I'm going to read it to you guys so I can explain it to you guys. Gideon said to God, okay, if you rub by my hand, as you have said, 
Look, I shall put a fleece of wool on the threshing floor. If there is dew on the fleece only, and it is dry on the ground, then I shall know that you will save Israel by my hand, as you have said. So basically what is going on with this scripture is that Gideon wanted to know if God, you know, was approving of him saving, you know, Israel by his hand. So what happened was Gideon took the, the fleece of wool, okay, and he put it on the floor. And what happened was when if Gideon base was, at, was saying to God, okay, I'm going to put this fleece of wool on the floor, God. You know, when I, you know, when I get up that next morning, you know, when Gideon get up the next morning, if he, Gideon told God, if I see some dew on the, on the wool, then I know that you want me to save Israel, okay? He put Israel in his hand, in Gideon's hand to save. That is actually another sign of God's power being manifested and identified as a power of God, okay? And this is, you know, it's just so interesting because I'm going to do a whole nother um, teaching on that because it's so interesting and I could break it down more to you guys on that particular area. But um, that's another sign for now that, you know, Jesus is showing his power, okay? That was his, that was one another sign of God's power. Now, another sign of God's power was that Isaiah prophesied a virgin conceiving a child as a son of God's presence. So, it there was a virgin that actually had a child just by being in the presence of God, and this was a a miracle and actually a sign of God's power once again. Okay. And you can find this scripture in, uh, let me see, I'm sorry. You can find this scripture in Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14 in the Old Testament, okay? And the next one, uh, which is a sign of God's power. Who saw a slow sundial as a sign that Hezekiah would recover from his illness? Okay, Hezekiah had an illness going on, right? And... He basically wanted to, you know, know if he was going to be healed from God or he was not going to make it or he wanted to know what was going on with his illness. So by him receiving a sign from God, he didn't receive a sign from God personally, but what happened was God spoke to Isaiah, okay? God spoke to Isaiah, which y'all already know, if y'all don't know, Isaiah is a prophet that was in the Bible, okay? Isaiah is a prophet, okay? And God spoke to Isaiah, and Isaiah saw a sundial, okay, going backwards. And this automatically let Isaiah know that Hezekiah, Hezekiah was going to be healed by God from his illness, and he was going to be recovering, okay? He was not going to die. God was going to heal him based on God showing Isaiah, the prophet, uh, the sign which God used a sundial to go backwards, okay? And you can find this information in Isaiah, okay, as well. Um, let me give you the scripture. It's Isaiah chapter, uh, it's, well, it's actually Isaiah 2 Kings chapter 20, verse 8 through 11, okay? And what happened is this. This sundial that Isaiah saw was basically going into a slow motion. It was going in slow, but but backwards. And that let Isaiah know, okay, from God to let Hezekiah know that he was going to be recovered and he was going to be healed from his illness, okay? And it's just so many interesting things that is identifying God's power in the Bible. It's just so amazing, okay? It's so amazing, for real. Now, the next one is, um, now, the next one is that Joshua, okay? Joshua has set up 12 stones as a sign of God parting of the Jordan, okay? So, by uh, Joshua doing this, setting up the 12 stones as a sign that God was going to part the Jordan, okay? 
And I believe that the Jordan was the Jordan River, if I'm not mistaken. That's what he was speaking of. Okay. And you can find this in Joshua chapter 4, verse 6. Okay. That's another sign of God's power in the Bible. And if you're not aware, Joshua is actually uh, located in the Old Testament, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, let me see. It's, it's uh, located in the Old Testament. Yeah. So that's what was going on with that. Now, now Jesus um had did another sign, okay, to show his power as well. It was basically um. Now we already know about uh you know. The nation suffering ten plagues that were signs of God's power. And this nation was actually Egypt. Y'all know about Egypt has, you know, suffered the ten plagues that was a sign of God's power, okay? Now, what happened was that by God, you know, letting these plagues manifest in Egypt, that automatically let everyone know in Egypt that God was manifesting his power and that he was real, Okay? And you can find this uh, information in, in in Exodus, okay? Chapter 10, verse 2, which we already know Exodus is in the Old Testament of the Bible. Now, the next sign that Jesus um, used was a king, okay? Which was named Jeroboam. I hope I said the name right. Jeroboam was a king who saw an altar broken, as a sign that God was speaking through a prophet, okay? So when Jeroboam saw an altar broken, this he knew was a sign that God was speaking through a prophet, okay? God was definitely speaking. So this is another sign of God's power once again. Now, the next sign that Jesus used to show his power was to manifest his power was, um, which king, I'm sorry, it was actually um, a prophet, okay, that advised building a signifier as a sign of the coming invasion of Babylon, okay? And what happened was Jeroboam, if I'm not mistaken, I'm sorry, y'all. Let me go back to this other sign because I, 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 for some reason I, uh, I, mixed, I mixed it up. I'm sorry. Now, when I was speaking of the um the king who saw an altar broken as a sign of that God was speaking through a prophet was God used the swaddling clothes and the manger, which you can find in chapter of uh, chapter twelve, chapter two of Luke, verse twelve. Actually, it's in Luke chapter two, verse twelve, and Jesus used the swaddling clothes and the manger. Okay. And this, I, and, and this, this, this is how, this is how the sign was manifested that the shepherds had found the baby Jesus. So they they found the baby Jesus by the sign when they received the swaddling clothes and the manger. This identified that Jesus was, uh, you know, was being uh, was was being found, which was the baby Jesus. It was baby Jesus, okay? It was baby Jesus, you know. And um, you can find this once again in Luke chapter 2, verse 12. Okay. Now, the next sign is, I think I had just spoke this to you guys because I, I, I had mixed it up earlier. I'm sorry. Which was Jeroboam. He was a king in the Bible. And he saw an altar broke as a sign that, was, that God was speaking through a prophet. Okay, so this king saw an altar broke, and when the altar broke, Jeroboam was the king that I'm speaking of that saw this sign that God was speaking through a prophet when the altar had broke. Okay, so there's just so many ways that God has showed his his um, power in the Bible. It's just all over the Bible. So many powerful things God did through prophets, through uh, just you know just putting like plagues on the earth or he might have just spoke through a prophet as I said um, he manifests himself through just different ways and different situations it's just so it's just amazing if you just read all through the bible 
Um, it's just so many different ways. And I'm just trying to break it down to you guys so you can get a better understanding. Because some people, when they read the word, they won't, they still won't understand what they're reading. It could be a little, uh, maybe a little, you know, you, you might not catch on to what the scripture is actually saying or trying to show uh, at the time. So that's why I'm here to break it down to you guys. Now, it says the last sign I would like to share with you guys is which prophet advised building a signal fire as a sign of the coming invasion of Babylon? Okay, so um, this prophet actually advised building a signal fire as a sign of the coming invasion of Babylon. And this prophet was actually Jeremiah, okay? Jeremiah, and you can find this in Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 1. I just wanted to share with you guys about the signs that God used at his, uh, as his manifested manifestation and identifying his power to people in the Bible in so many ways in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, which we are in today, the New Testament. So I just wanted to share this with you guys and, um, you know, and I have the scriptures, um, you know, you know, I gave you the scriptures. And I'll also put the scriptures at the bottom of this video so that you can go back and, you know, read it for yourself. And maybe since I kind of broke it down to you guys, you'll understand how God just manifested his power and his, you know, oh my goodness, in so many ways. I think this is amazing. I think this is so amazing, you know, because like I said, I'm going to do another video breaking down because... If a person is looking for a, a, a sign from God and they need, you know, they waiting on a response from God, it's so many ways that you can get responses from God. Um, it just in in so many unique ways. You see what I'm saying? It just depends on what your situation is or what or what what you wait, what kind of sign you waiting on from God. Um, for those that are walking with God, because it's so amazing how He just spoke through people or uh, the prophets he spoke through prophets um how he just um you know he allowed the rainbow to uh you know to to, to be you know shown to the uh to the people on earth that he made the covenant with to let them know that he would never never flood the earth again it's just so amazing and i just wanted to share this with you guys i want to thank you for listening to this video I hope that this video uh, open, you know, just took you to the next level of how God works his miracles and his power and how he identified himself to so many people all over the world that he is real, that he's definitely real. And I just want to thank you guys for, um, you know, checking out this video. And, and if you get a chance, you know, check out the scriptures and go back and, and, and just kind of go over the scriptures and read it for yourself. It's just so amazing. You'll be, you know, it, it's amazing. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to thank you guys for, um, like I said earlier, for watching this video, checking it out and everything. And, um, and, and I just want to share this with you guys because, you know, it's just, it's, it's amazing, man. Because I read all these different, um, things in the Bible that God led me to that he was, how he was showing his power, how he was manifesting, um, uh, his, um, uh, you know, his presence, and he was speaking through prophets, once again, I just can't stop saying this, he was just showing so much, uh, you know, I, I, identification of, of his, of his presence, and how he want to let people know he's real, you know, he, he, he speaks back in so many ways, and it's just, it's, 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 it's cool, man, you know, and, and, it, and what's so, what's so, so unique and so so precious about God and so excited about God is that he don't you know he, he come in different ways uh and speak to different in so many different ways each individual uh person you know what I'm saying and that's just so unique he don't come in everybody the same way and, and show his power you know he he shows his his uh power in so many different ways that he want to show it in to different people and that's just I think that's I think that's stunning. I think that's really stunning, straight up, for real. I don't know how y'all feel about that, but I think it's stunning, and I think it's amazing. 
And I really want y'all to check them scriptures out when y'all get a chance. Do not make no excuse. Check them out, man, because it just, if you just read the scripture after I have explained to you uh, because of the presence of, 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 of this video, man, of this, of this, uh, you know, this message, you will see what I'm talking about. You know, you will, you will see. You know, it's just amazing, man, how God just be manifesting his power through people uh, in all kinds of ways. So that's pretty much the deal with that. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I want to say for now. And like I said, I'll be doing another video to break down, um, you know, the look like the other part I want to share with you guys about the um the his Ezekiel um you know story and stuff like that. I want to thank you guys for watching this video and y'all take it easy. God bless.